In Basenji today, there is a mood of jubilation as thousands crowd the streets in celebration. The first ever democratic election in the People's Republic of Basenji is a success. Five years ago, the monarchy was replaced by a transitional government. And now, finally, after great struggle, democracy has come to Basenji. For the first time in their turbulent history, both Basenji and ethnic Karifi are voting for a government of their choice. Twelve political parties campaigned, representing a wide political spectrum, with the largest, the Basenji Nationalist Party, sweeping the election with 72% of the vote. Good morning, Your Excellency. My name is Sibiria. I have been assigned as your political strategist. And I am Yusuf. I will be serving as your military attaché. The first task before you is to appoint cabinet roles for representatives from across our great nation. These are critical positions. Once appointed, cabinet members are constitutionally protected. They cannot be removed from office. Indeed. You will be stuck with these ministers, for better or worse. I would advise you listen to their needs. And I say look for loyalty. There will be hard days ahead. We will need a cabinet that is on our side, no matter what. Excellency, it's time for us to form the government responsible for building Basenji's glorious future.
Very good. Know that every 12 months, you may appoint a new cabinet minister for an unstaffed ministry, should you choose to do so. More ministers mean more opportunities to do great things. And more people to keep happy. Excellency, while you get settled in your new office, I have scheduled your agenda for the next few weeks. Are you interested in hearing it? Most actions, aside from giving orders to units, cost a single action point. The number of action points available is equal to the number of ministers in our cabinet. Think of this as political capital to get things done. I've learned that our national power plant has not received a fuel shipment in weeks. The connecting roads were made unusable during the Civil War. By constructing a new road, oil will automatically be transported from the refinery to the power plant and electricity can be restored to Basenji. Build roads by click-dragging a line between two buildings. Ensure both the power plant and the oil refinery are connected to the same road network. Building roads costs one action point per month and treasury funds. Note that it is possible to both upgrade and bulldoze roads. Click on any road segment, including the one you just built, and select Upgrade in the road menu. Manipulating the camera should be straightforward. In addition to moving the cursor, you can use the WASD keys to pan the map or click and hold the middle mouse button. The mouse wheel is used to zoom in and out. Zooming out of the map will help you see the big picture of Bisenji. You can also rotate the map by clicking the rotation buttons, or by pressing Q or E. Finally, these buttons will immediately pan the camera to buildings of specific importance. Resource producers, power plants and buildings that allow units to be recruited, that sort of thing. After the Civil War, the United Nations established aid camps to distribute food rations to our people. We must start to produce our own food and not rely on the UN. Constructing agricultural fields allows us to produce our own food for our people and have a new source of revenue to grow our treasury. Agricultural fields can only be placed on green terrain. From the right sidebar, click Construction. From there, choose the agricultural field. We will need to ensure that there is a working population available wherever we place them.
Over time, Basenji cities will demand more than just food to stay content. Urban citizens who purchase these goods from our state-run producers put money back into our treasury. As food supply increases, you can dismantle UN camp. I would suggest doing this only once every few months, because removing UN aid workers will come with severe penalty to our diplomatic influence. For now though, I think we can weather it. Click on our UN camp and dismantle it now. We could spend funds and an action point to build a second agricultural field to support the anticipated growth in our city's demands next month. Alternatively, we could address the health crisis currently facing the province of Saba. Constructing a regional hospital adjacent to a city somewhere in this province would provide immediate care for those wounded during the Basanji Civil War. Well done, Excellency. Thank you for putting your faith in me. You may have noticed that buildings consume both workers and power. Getting more power is a question of building more power plants. Getting more workers, however, is a much bigger problem. For now, it is prudent to spread your buildings out between your provinces, so you don't end up with a worker shortage. Excellency, we have used up all our actions for this month. Let us reconvene next month. Good morning, Excellency. Excellency, Sabria, apologies for the interruption. Our military is in a state of disrepair, and I must insist we address that sooner rather than later. Construct a military base, Excellency. This will be where all our military units are produced.
Youssef, the local news is reporting something difficult to believe. An industrious shepherd appears to have hybridized a bunch of old cars to produce an armored bipedal tank. I may have made a big mistake. Why would anyone do that? Uh, because it's awesome? Hello? Can anyone hear me? I am stuck inside this armored bipedal tank and have lost system control. Although this is probably also a threat to our national security, thankfully we can use that military base to recruit some new troops and send them to disable it. We will need to train a military unit. All units have a role to play in combat and it is for you to decide which unit to train. I would, however, suggest that you not train the SAM truck. It cannot attack ground-based units, including whatever that thing is. Order our troops to disable the civilian bipedal tank by first clicking on the unit, then click dragging a line to the target. Excellency! For passage! Outstanding. We have pulled the very frightened shepherd from the wreckage. Hopefully his insurance covers all the damage he caused. Thank you. I spent so much of my time thinking about how to create a giant homemade walking tank out of old cars and recovered munitions. I never stopped to think if I should. Right. Well, Excellency, this seems as good a time as any to introduce your ministries. This is where you set all the policies specific to our nation. Click on the Ministry of Finance for now. Setting our tax policy to be regressive will increase our tax base if our people's prosperity is low. Our nation's liberals will absolutely hate this move, but maybe we can win back their trust in other ways. Set our tax policy to regressive now. Good. Let's check in now with the Ministry of Defense. Over time, a minister will research new policies for our nation. If you keep them happy by fulfilling the requests they routinely bring to us, that research gets completed faster. The minister is of the view that we might be able to learn something from this uh, bizarre incident with the armored walking vehicle. You can choose which policy opportunities a minister is going to research by clicking on it. Choose a policy opportunity for the Minister of Defense to research now. You can even choose that silly bipedal walking tank if it means that much to you, but will probably need a lot of cash in a secret facility if you plan on going down that road. Thank you.
Ministers who are not given research priorities will create their own based on their personal interests. In fact, particularly belligerent ministers may do their own thing, regardless of what you say. We should suggest policy opportunities for the remaining three ministers to research now. Great. Research will be conducted faster when the minister has a great deal of respect for you. Unhappy ministers may not do any research at all. Excellency, our economy is pretty stagnant right now, which will limit our opportunities to better this great nation. I have a plan, however, that will give us a little extra boost. Let's review our national budget. Very good. I've got some more ideas on how we can increase our national treasure. A lot of things outside of our control can affect Basenji's monthly revenue. City growth, immigration, the price of commodities, our transportation infrastructure. So what you're looking at is our minister's best estimates based on a snapshot of the country as it stands today. Lowering provincial expenses helps a little, but it will also take its toll on the general well-being of those provinces. But look at these ministry expenses! You may want to change some policies in the Ministry of Development later on. Ongoing unit maintenance costs are something to keep a close eye on as well. It's better to use a few units well than grow a bloated military. 
because we have a Minister of Finance, we also have the option of taking out loans in the forms of bonds or an IBRD loan. The interest repayment terms for these are not kind, so I wouldn't suggest doing this unless we were in a real emergency. Inevitably, the best way for us to have nice things is to find the resources and sell them. Later, we can use those resources to craft more valuable goods and sell them instead. We may need to consider a few temporary provincial funding cuts until we get our economy jump-started. I'll leave it to you to decide where, but ultimately, I propose you cut just enough to establish a positive cash flow. Excellency, we have used up all our actions for this month. Let us reconvene next month. Click on the Palace of Mijimura by either finding it on the map or clicking on the Palace Fast Access button at the bottom of the screen. From there, train a surveyor. Morning, Excellency. Click on the surveyor you've just trained to reveal all the potential resources in Bisenji. By exploring these sites, we can potentially uncover new resources for our economy. There is a possible resource deposit located on a tile not too far from his current location. Drag him to the nearest tile with the potential resource deposit, note the black pin, and click Survey Adjacent Tiles from the Surveyor Interface. Very well. Excellency. Another oil deposit. Well, this is helpful. Not all resource deposits pan out, so sending surveyors across Basenji to check them all will be necessary. Let's build a new refinery on that oil deposit. Select one from the construction menu. Now our nation has two oil refineries. One is sending oil to our power plant. Perhaps we can sell the oil from this one to one of our neighbors. At least, while we don't have a demand for plastics yet from Basenji. Click on the diplomacy menu. Relations with those other nations we share a border with can be tricky. If we can maintain a strong, positive relationship, we can mutually prosper from expanding trade. If they grow to hate us too much, we may find ourselves invaded. Our relationship will depend greatly on their interests, which are not immediately known to us. 
Spending intelligence on research is one way to better understand these interests. In addition to their relationship with us, these neighboring states also have their own internal stability to be concerned about. A collapsing neighbor means lots of refugees seeking asylum in our borders, in addition to other challenges to manage. Take notice as well of the three major powers interested in influencing the future of the region. The United States of America, the Russian Federation, and the People's Republic of China. If any one of these powers sees us as a threat to their interests, we may find ourselves in a war we cannot possibly win. On the other hand, if we can eventually improve our relations to the point where an alliance is achieved, the others may leave us alone. Let's see if any of our neighbors happen to have an interest in Basenji crude oil. Once they're on the phone, select Negotiate Trade and click the Export tab. Then, make an offer to export oil. Excellency, we have used up all our actions for this month. Let us reconvene next month. Morning, Excellency. Not bad at all. We'll need to make sure there's a road connection between the oil refinery and the border checkpoint, or else our oil will never reach them and no money will be earned.
Very good. Make sure your surveyor is on his way to find new resources for us. Over time, resource-producing buildings will experience corruption. Greasy hands will start cutting into our national bottom line. You should hire a facilities inspector from the palace at Mejimra to travel between your resource producers and address this. Excellency. Very well. Perfect. The facilities inspector has an action that allows you to eliminate corruption that accrues in the resource producing buildings. Yes. Surveyors, facilities inspectors, and clerics can consume an action point to double their movement distance. Keep this in mind if you find yourself with extra action points. Excellency, Sabria. Apologies for the interruption. Again. Intelligence reports that a small contingent of rebels and dissidents calling themselves the Basenji Liberation Front are on the move toward what's left of that armored bipedal vehicle. The Basenji Liberation Front? They're a small union of various interest groups with the united goal of destabilizing our democracy and removing you from power. What could they want with a pile of metal junk in the deep desert? Regardless, reports indicate they are armed and we must respond with force, Excellency. If the public feels we can't keep them safe, we may end up playing right into the insurgents' agenda. Our units start fiercely loyal to our regime, Excellency. Just be aware that the military is looking for you to make smart decisions. Sending units on suicide missions, making poor choices, and making our nation into a laughingstock may result in our soldiers doubting your leadership and side with the enemy. Every unit can only attack once per month, and we're anticipating at least a couple targets. We may need to field more troops. Eliminate the BLF units before they are able to reach the wreckage. Excellency. On our way. Full blessing. Good morning, Excellency. On our way. Great work, Excellency. It would be prudent to have forces spread throughout the nation to address whatever threats may come our way. Excellency, as important as our national defense is, I will show you how to stay in power by balancing the differing interests of liberals and conservatives, religious and secular citizens, even urban and rural populations. 
Let's start by examining how we are doing, province by province. Click on Banifa in the right sidebar. The upper graph shows your current approval levels in Banifa by demographic over the past 10 months. If they get too displeased with you, the rebels will be emboldened. The lower graph shows that province's ratings for prosperity, education, health, safety, the environment, and entertainment. Keeping these from getting too low in all five provinces is going to be crucial if you want the people to stay content. In many provinces, our environmental ratings are falling. A few are getting particularly low. Let's talk about what we can do about that. Go ahead and click anywhere to close the provincial detail panel. Traffic congestion can restrict the flow of goods, and more importantly, drag down your regional environmental, entertainment, and prosperity ratings. Let's check the traffic lens to see if this is the case. Most of the roads are tinted green. It appears the traffic is not currently a bottleneck for us. If too many industries export goods on the same roads, you will eventually want to upgrade those roads by clicking on the road segment and pressing the Upgrade Roads button. So, let's consider what else we can do to improve our environmental rating. At the provincial level, you can increase funding to conservation, but this will increase your treasury expenses every turn. We could also construct a nature preserve or public gardens to improve your environmental rating, which have a larger one-time cost. At a nationwide level, we can make some policy changes. They might not cost us any money, but they will likely result in other trade-offs for consideration. In the Ministry of Natural Resources, we can ration power and sacrifice our entertainment rating in all provinces for our environment rating. We can also change our government principles from an exploitation perspective to a stewardship perspective. There is no one way to accomplish anything. The choice is yours as to how you want to proceed. You are the glorious leader. Good. It will take time to see the results of these improvements. So, as a longer-term goal, I would suggest you think about building more agricultural fields, a plastics factory, and a manufacturing plant with a view to getting processed food production online before your citizens start to demand it. Notice the resource production and demand icons in the right sidebar. 
These are the five products that cities may grow to demand over time. The left number under each product represents how much you are producing at present, minus any products consumed in order to produce other products. The right number represents how much of that good is demanded by our cities at this time. It's possible for us to produce more than what is demanded. When this happens, consider exporting the surplus to a friendly neighbor. This is how we make money. Tax dollars will not be enough. We need to start building production chains to manufacture processed foods, household goods, consumer electronics and luxury goods. Sell them to our neighbors at first with trade agreements. Then, when urban citizens start to demand them here, we will sell to our own people as well. Processed food should come first. Hold the mouse over the processed food icon in the right sidebar. Processed food is going to require more farms, more oil refineries, a plastics factory, and a manufacturing plant. We will also need them all connected by roads. Thankfully, we already have extra oil that we're exporting. If you construct a plastics factory in a manufacturing plant and connect them to the road network, the oil will automatically be diverted to plastics production while you send our surveyor to seek up new deposits. Good morning, Excellency. Thankfully, we already have extra oil that we're exporting. If you construct a plastics factory in a manufacturing plant and connect them to the road network, the oil will automatically be diverted to plastics production while you send our surveyor to seek up new deposits.
Fantastic. Any food or processed food purchased by our citizens or by other countries is money that goes straight into our pockets. Keep an eye on your production chains and aim to produce at least 80 a turn. Over time, you should be surveying more resources or importing what resources you need in order to produce household goods, consumer electronics, and luxury goods. As important as our economy is, you might also want to consider as a longer-term goal trying to grow our intelligence capabilities. Building an intelligence agency and training spies will help us find BLF camps hidden across our nation. And finally, keep an eye on your worker count. The only way to get more workers in Bisenji is to open the country up to more immigrants. And that's something you need to negotiate with our neighboring countries. Immigrants are valuable members of our society, but if our relations with their country of origin go poorly, you can expect their approval of our government to falter as well. I note that there are certain uh, emergency measures that can be used to relocate your population within the SNG in the event of a worker crisis, but they're ugly solutions. We can talk about them if it becomes necessary. I think we've bombarded our glorious leader with enough information, Yusuf. Let's go. Good luck, Excellency. In addition to improving regional public safety, the intelligence agency allows you to spend that intelligence on spies. Spies are specially designed to find rebel camps hidden in your country, and at higher levels, they can unlock more powerful abilities. Yes. Excellency. Excellency. Farmazenji. Excellency, these numbers represent civilian and military units that don't have any movement orders assigned. You may want to consider sending them somewhere before ending your turn. 